Dub C here, and today we have another MRE ration view. I found a nice spot outside uh, during my hike to try this bad boy out. So this is a human humanitarian daily ration. It's actually sent to me by uh, Readiness Reviews. Uh, never seen this before. Really excited to check it out. I think it's a uh, daily ration from what it says. Menu 4 possibly has like a 4 on it. Um, but I only have one stop today, so I'll have to get in and see what we got and see what's can eat out. It's also a cool topic. It's actually from 2010, uh, so it's about 10 years old right now. So I always like to try the older rations. I like to try the new rations. I think the bag will be awesome on the uh, wall of reviews. And another important point is Readiness Reviews is also going to review this same menu, and he's going to do it his way, so you can check him out, check his channel out. I'll put a link down in the description below. But I'm really excited to get inside and review this, so let's get started. I think we're all set up. So we got the humanitarian daily ration, uh, food gift from the people of the United States of America, uh, potentially menu four. And it's got the peelable seal. I'm gonna try to. Oh, peelable seal did not work, so I'll cut it open. All right, so let's see what we got inside. Wow, this is interesting. It's actually packaged internally, and like almost shrink wrapped. Shrink wrapped. So the bag's all emptied out now. Look at that. Very cool. All right. So we have two mains. I'm probably gonna end up eating both these because I am pretty hungry. We got the beans with potatoes and peas and pasta. So we can get those cooking in there. We have an oatmeal cookie. I love the packaging. This is like a silver packaging on here. Really cool. We got a pack of HDR crackers. Very awesome. We got some strawberry jam. It's like uh, just crazy how they're packed like that. They have a fig bar. Looks like an accessory kit. We have some raisins. Some more crackers, but these ones have seen better days. It's almost the shape of a U. So I might cr crumble those up and put them in the main. We have a peanut butter and a, another strawberry jam. And then you have a uh, MRE spoon. And then it says uh, humanitarian daily ration at Marikwal packaging. So it may be, and that's all. So a lot of good food here. Let's uh, get start busting it open, start warming stuff up. I got my camp all set up, got my burner over here, and uh, I don't I don't see any drinks, so I'll just drink water. That's cool. All right, for the accessory kit, so we've got our most nap. Got some uh, ground red pepper. And some salt. Separated. And we have some sugar. And we have these matches, red tip. I'm gonna go ahead and open these beans with potatoes. Look at the packaging, still very interesting. Um, looking for date code, I think that's it. 104th day, 2010. Got the water boiling on the camping stove. Let's take a look at the main. It's like a good retort pouch, nothing wrong with it. Go ahead and throw it in. And then we have the peas with pasta. Not sure if I'm gonna like that, but check it out. Always like to check the mains before uh, put them in. This one's really dense, real thick, so see how that warms up in there. As you can see, the uh, HDR did not come with any flamers ration heaters or um, like drink mixes or coffee. So it leaves those out. 
And typically, I mean, you could eat the mains cold, but I'm going to warm them up just to see. And then I got this cracker. This cracker is all smashed up, so I'm just going to use this to throw in the main. Smash it up just right in the packaging, that way you're not making a mess afterwards. Go ahead and start getting some stuff opened up. And this is the fig bar. Smells okay. A little smashed up, but that's alright. Actually, look at the figs like smashed out of that one side. We've got some raisins. Also smell okay. Nice new package. Nice color to them. Let me eat the uh, oatmeal cookie. That's different. Yeah. Has a nice cinnamon smell to it. Really, really smells really good. And then we're going to use our uh, ration bag as our table. And we're going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of our crackers and see if we get uh, any vacuum seal on this one. A little bit. Crackers are a uh, little smashed up in this one, but not near as bad as the other one. I'm going to need the peanut butter and the jam. It's only it's about 41 degrees out, so it's not um, cold really, but uh, still a little bit chilly. All right, we got the peanut butter. And like I said, we're going to make a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of these crackers. That way we're not having to worry about... I got the other pack to throw in there. But it it's actually isn't a ton of food. I mean, for a normal person probably. But for me, it's 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 almost like almost with the addition, uh, MRE with additional main. But, I mean, if you're hungry, it's, it's definitely going to help out, for sure. we got the one side we're going to throw the peanut butter on. Peter's Peanut butter smells fine. He like said this stuff is 10 years old, so I will use caution, but uh, readiness review said his seemed okay, so always still got to use caution. All right, got the, oh, all right, this is going to be interesting. Okay, it's all right. Hopefully we'll use the peanut butter to glue it all together. So I said I was making one sandwich, it looks like I'm making two. And strawberry jelly, a little bit dark, but that's no problem. It smells okay. And I love strawberry jam. I'll take one side, smash it, pieces on the other side, boom. Two sandwiches. Mains warm up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, try this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is the strawberry and peanut butter jam, or strawberry jam with the peanut butter on the crackers. So the strawberry jam, really good. Like you can tell, it's got a little bit of age on it. It's got a little bit more um, a depth to the flavor. Um, the peanut butter is fine, very smooth. It's kind of salty. The crackers are very interesting. I I don't know if they're different per se than the original MRE crackers but the flavor it feels a little bit different and it I'm not sure if it's because that they are a little burnt not burnt but like you can see they actually you can taste that they've been cooked a little bit longer than normal and it actually enhances the flavor quite a bit so you should do that more often and cook them a little bit longer all right we're going to take this uh fig bar give this a shot fig bar is really good it actually has good chunks of fig within the, the filling so it's, it's got like a really good bite to it, a good crunch uh, throughout the whole thing. So it's really just your natural fig bar, nothing wrong with it, really good. Let's go ahead and try some of these raisins out. The raisins got like a kind of a, like some of the sticky coating on them. I'm not sure what that is, but let's see if they taste all right. Oh boy, I'd say raisins did not make it. There's something definitely wrong with those raisins. They straight up taste like... Um, like a wet, moldy basement. Uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Uh, definitely won't be eating those. I, uh, I tried to get them down, but they, they were not good. My body, like, almost straight out rejected them. So we'll just get those out of there and try this cookie. And the oatmeal cookie is really good. It is hard as a rock, uh, but as far as, you know, actually 
taste everything. I mean, they, I mean, look at this thing. It snaps. It's got a nice uh, hard exterior, but flavor's good. Nothing wrong with that. Looks like the mains are about done. So we'll actually um, go ahead and try that. That, uh, I think it's peas with pasta. That thing is still rock solid. I'm just going to eat these in the pouch. I do have the crackers I'm going to add in after I try the mains by themselves. For our first main, we have the uh, beans with potatoes. This uh, almost looks like a chili. But the potatoes are, I don't know if they're in there or they're just mashed up. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. This is actually really fantastic. The, um, it reminds me of baked beans with like heavy molasses. But then you throw in the potatoes and it has, you know, you change that flavor just a little bit from the baked beans to the sloppy joe. It's in between those. And very rich tomato flavor with, you know, the potatoes come through really come through really good and they're actually pretty crunchy when you get a potato so that's that's pretty good but yeah this is really enjoyable and just by itself but i'm gonna add some crackers to it just to see if we can help it out you can smash these crackers up just in the bag like this and then once you get it over here you can actually just shake them into the main perfect give that a good stir and we'll give that a shot I mean, I think this is might be MVP right here. I really enjoy this. Oh yeah, that was definitely awesome. I mean, the, just the again, the natural flavors of the almost baked beans slash sloppy joe sauce with potato, and then you throw the crunch in there. That was top notch. I do have the ground red pepper, but I think I'm gonna save that for the other main because I don't know if I'm gonna like that as well. And I can spice it up with that. That is ready now. So we can open that and see what it's all about. Again, it's not as dense now, but it's uh, pretty hefty. Okay, we're on to the other main. And uh, it said peas and pasta. I'm guessing these are chickpeas. But look at this, like slimy. So that's, uh, I mean, it's probably the, the pasta doing that. Let's go ahead and give it a shot as is. I don't think this is going to beat the beans, but you never know. Right, for the peas and pasta, I believe it's uh, chickpeas. The they're, the peas themselves are very hard to texture, and it's like not cooked at all. They're very, like I said, they're almost hard to each bite. That's kind of offsetting. I mean, I, I know they're trying to maybe give it a crunch or something, um, but the flavor is very bland. And then the peas, when you break into them, you bite into them, they only make it more bland. Uh, the pasta is slimy. And, you know, it doesn't really have any good mouthfeel. So, like I said, it's not nearly as good as the beans uh, and potatoes. But let's go ahead and try uh, adding some crunch to it with the crackers. Add the ground red pepper and we'll give it a mix and give it another shot. Will it take the title of MVP? Sure to find out. Okay, here we go. While it did not dethrone the beans and potatoes from MVP, it was far better enhanced with the crackers and the spice. It's you know it's it was edible before, but it, it makes it more you can appreciate it and enjoy it more now. But this is fantastic. This is what a great ration. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, and we'll talk more in final thoughts. Final thoughts on humanitarian daily ration. Wow, what an experience. It was nice to open it up and see what's actually inside one of these. And it does say that the bag contains one day, uh, day's complete food requirement. There's a lot of calories in there. I mean, I ate it one meal, but it could have easily been sustained all day. There's a lot of food in there. And after 10 years, everything held up except the raisins. But let's go through everything real quick. The mains, the uh, beans and potatoes. Wow. That was a great. I've never seen that main before. Never tried it before, and it was fantastic. I really enjoyed the uh, beans and the uh, potatoes with that sauce. And like I said, it was a, 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 a baked beans with molasses and like a sloppy Joe sauce. And like, I not may not sound good, but it was really good. Uh, in essence, you add the crackers uh, to it, give that the crunch to it. Really good. The other main, on the other hand, wasn't that good. Uh, it was pasta and I believe chickpeas. It uh, is very bland, um, but again, will sustain you. It has a lot of protein and uh, calories in there with the pasta and the beans. 
and um, you throw the crackers and the hot spice in there, the ground red pepper, and it actually was pretty good. Uh, the raisins, uh, ugh, they, they were they were something wrong with those. I did not eat those, uh, but like I said, after ten years, what can you, you can't you hope everything's good, but you never know. Always got to be cautious. The um, oatmeal cookie it was great. It was pretty hard, but tasted fine. Fig bars are great, and then I love uh, I always love a peanut butter and jelly strawberry jam with uh, the peanut butter and the crackers. Really enjoyable, but. I know Reddit's reviews, he's going to re uh, release his video uh, within the same timeline as, on this week as mine. So definitely go check his out. And a special thanks to him. He actually sent this to me so I could check it out. I always love, like I said, I always enjoy checking out new rations like this. So go check out his video. And uh, that's all I got now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.